welcome to Uplands Community College. This is our Meet the Teacher video. I hope that you find it informative. We wish that we could invite you on to school the way we normally do so that you could really get a feel for our wonderful school. Unfortunately that's not possible at the moment and we're hoping that this video will be the next best thing. Over the next few months we're going to make some more videos so as well as meeting the teachers you're also going to be able to meet the parents and most importantly meet the students and that should enable you to make a well informed decision about which secondary school can best meet the needs of your child. Uplands Community College is an aspirational school. Our aim is for your children to be happy, confident and successful all of the time that they are at our school but also when they leave school to move to university or out into the wider world of work and I'm really pleased to tell you that we are almost always successful in this aim. Uplands has the word community in its name and for us this is not just a word, it's an ethos. We're a friendly school. Our head girl says that we are small but perfectly formed and she's absolutely right. Visitors to the school always comment on what a lovely, friendly, welcoming feel it has and I'm confident that when you and your children finally do get to come into the school you will feel that too. Uplands is set in a stunning location. We're nestled in the heart of Wadhurst village and as you can see we've got fantastic views over the wheels. We're lucky enough at Uplands Community College to be benefiting from a £12.5 million new building. The new building is going to have a purpose-built theatre with raked seating, new design and technology and art rooms with state-of-the-art equipment, an enormous dining room, a really modern library and lots of spacious new classrooms. It's really going to add to the educational provision that we have for the children and it's going to mean that they are learning in a modern, clean, bright and spacious environment. Bonjour, hola, hello, I am Mrs Clayton and I lead modern languages here at Uplands. Um, we're very pleased to meet you and find out which languages you've already been learning. In our school, you will learn French and Spanish in year 7, 8 and 9. And then in year 10 and 11, you'll choose which language, or possibly both, you choose to continue to GCSE. So, unusually, and we're very proud of it, our children learn both languages. So you'll do both French and Spanish. And we'll find out what you've already learnt and build on that and you'll get the chance to practice because as well as having native teachers who are from France and from Spain we also have some trips and we try to take all of year seven to France every year we have a big trip to a theme park based on the books of Asterix we go to Parc Asterix um, um, you'll have a chance to actually order things in French and stay overnight and visit a sea life centre as well so we do that in year seven and then in year 8, 9, 10, we have an exchange with a school in France and we are hoping to have some trips to Spain in the future as well. So come to Uplands and open up the world. We hope we see you soon. Hello, I'm Mr Richards and I am the Vice Principal at Uplands Community College. At your primary school, you probably have maybe one class, maybe two or three groups in your year group. And you probably go to the same class most days. At Uplands we have up to 60 teachers who will teach you in different subjects and my job is to make sure that you have a timetable where you have a teacher and a room to get to to learn each of your subjects. My other job is to look at the curriculum at Uplands Community College and make sure it's as exciting uh, and as enriching as possible. You might find yourself in drama looking at the play The Musical Matilda. You might be looking at A Midsummer Night's Dream. In art, you could find yourself in year seven studying things like clay tile making. In food technology, for example, you might be learning how to use a knife safely to chop vegetables and prepare food. You might be looking at the safe use of a blender. In things like um, RE, you could be looking at all of the different world religions. And in geography, you might get to go out and do a field study in the local village of Wadhurst. We've got all sorts of different subjects, we've got history where you could study the journey from slavery to modern day times in America. 
In maths, you might be studying angles and shapes, and you study a range of things in music, um, such as musical storytelling. So you might see a, a short film or a story, and you might be asked to compose some music to go with that story. In short, there's lots and lots available on the curriculum at Uplands. It's really exciting and really something to look forward to when you get to secondary school. We've got fully equipped science labs, we've got cookery rooms, D&T rooms where we've got all kinds of power tools. We've got a fully equipped music room and practice rooms. Lots of places for you to explore if you come here uh, and to have a really good experience of learning at Uplands. Hope to see you soon. Hello, I'm Mr Cunningham and I'm the head of sixth form here at Uplands. And we consider ourselves really fortunate to have a sixth form. It makes us a very special place. Because, of course, none of the other schools in this area do have a sixth form. And that gives us the advantage of knowing you, not only from the moment you get here, which we can't wait for, by the way, but all the way through your education, right up to the, ma uh, the moment when it matters most, right at the end of those A-levels, and when you're looking to see what you're going to do next. Our sixth formers are amazing. And you will see in them, when you come to visit us, the leadership skills that they develop in our sixth form. And they became not only the leaders of our school, but of course, in everything that they do when they leave their school too. And we can't wait to develop those same skills with you. It's no surprise that our sixth formers are incredibly successful by the time they leave here. Not only with their grades, but with achieving their goals and their dreams and what they want to do when they leave whether it be going straight into work, whether it be apprenticeships, or even universities, including Cambridge and University. We could not be more prouder of our students than we are of our sick formers. It's crazy that you're going to be with us in only a couple of years' time, and I can't wait to welcome you to our sick form a few years on from then. In the meantime, be well, stay healthy, and take care. Hi, I'm Miss Nichols and I'm a Senko Uplands, but I also teach food. My job is to coordinate support for any students that might have any special educational needs. So that could be from feeling anxious to having dyslexia, ADHD or autism. I'll make sure that all teachers know about the specific needs of those students to make sure they're well supported in class and that teachers know specific strategies to use with those students. Just as we are a very caring and nurturing school, we are a very caring and nurturing department. So the learning support department has eight HLTAs and TAs that will be available during the day if you need any support. So that could be from the start of the school day where somebody will see you in the department, go through your timetable with you, check that you haven't got any worries. Similarly, at break and lunch, Students can come into the department to find a quiet space and that could be for doing homework, it could be just to sit and play a game, to sit and chat, have your lunch or again if you've got any worries you can come in and talk to people there. So these TAs and HLTAs, they not only do that, they support in class as well so you might see a teaching assistant in the classroom and also they run specific interventions during the school day. So, for example, we run literacy and numeracy support sessions during some of your lessons, which you will have to come out of normal lessons for. We also have a nurture group. We, we run well-being groups. You know, if anyone's got any anxieties or is feeling quite low, that's the sort of thing that you would be included in. We're also very lucky to have a pets therapy reading dog and a dog handler comes in once a week and students read alongside the dog. This is found to have been really therapeutic and it's proven that if students do this, their confidence grows when they're reading aloud in class. We're also very lucky this year to start an autism awareness group. We have a growing need at Uplands for those students who have autism and it's really important that students are aware of their autism. So this is another intervention we'll be running this year. If you do have a special educational need, it's more likely that I will be seeing you in primary school rather than when you come in in year seven. 
I might come in for review meetings with you, but I will always come in in year six just to meet you so that you are confident coming in for your transition sessions. You might also want to have extra transition sessions at Uplands. So that could be before all the other year sixes come in, just so that you, know, you can find your way around the building, ask any questions, then have your transitions day, and then you can come in after as well, just if you've got any further questions before you actually start at Uplands. So that's my role as Senko. My other role as food teacher, just to tell you a little bit about what happens in food. So in year seven, eight and nine, you will have one hour of food per week as part of a rotation of subjects in the design and technology department. So that roughly translates to about a third of the year. Now in year seven, we obviously concentrate on the basics. So that is how to use um, the cooker. So we, we look at using the oven, the grill and the hob. And we do that through making different products. So for example, using the oven, we make fruit muffins. Using the hob, we make a ratatouille. The other things that we look at in year seven are healthy eating and basic food hygiene and safety. We build on those things in year eight through a variety of projects. Again, lots of practical work. And then in year nine, we get ready for GCSE. At GCSE, it's called um, Food Preparation and Nutrition, and it's a very successful subject in the school. It gets really good results, and also it, a lot of students want to do it. In fact, I've got 23 students coming into my class in year 10 from September, so a, a really big group. Anyway, I look forward to meeting you in the very near future. Hi, my name is Mrs Richardson and I'm the Head of Science here at Uplands and I'm really excited to tell you about some of the things that we have going on here but before I do that I wanted to show you some of the cool things that we've got going on here. So I've got the Bunsen burner on ready on the safety flame and I'm just going to turn it to the roaring blue flame here and you might be able to hear that that, that sounds louder, it's a more powerful, it's a hotter flame. Now, we're going to look at some of the chemistry um, that explains why fireworks go different colours. So I have some sodium chloride here, regular table salt that you put on your chips. See what colour it goes. Do you see it's going that really beautiful orange colour? Right, let's try potassium chloride. You might see this on the back of some of the um, different packets. Keep your eye out for it. Oh, it's not so good, this one. Oh, we might have been able to see a lilac colour. If you see a lilac flame, it will, it's likely to have potassium chloride in it. Now this one's my favourite, copper sulphate. Again, keep your eye out for it. Oh, can you see? There's a really lovely green colour. Fireworks which have a green colour have often got copper in them. Okay. So there's lots of practicals that we can do here at Uplands, and this is just one of them. And we'll look to explain really what's going on here, both in GCSE and at A-level. I'll turn this off while I continue. We are really proud here to be able to teach within our subject specialisms. So we have really experienced, really knowledgeable staff who are able to, able to deliver A-level right the way up to um, for biology, chemistry and physics. So we are really looking forward to welcoming you and sharing our passions. Hi, I'm Mr Fuller, a maths teacher and assistant principal at Uplands Community College. I'm also responsible for the pastoral care, welfare and well-being of students whilst at Uplands. Upon joining Uplands, you'll be assigned a tutor and a tutor group. This tutor will be your first point of contact throughout your time at Uplands. And as you progress through the school years, that tutor will go with you. So obviously building very positive relationships along the way. We always have your uh, best interests at heart, and so we want to recognise your hard work and achievements for a range of different rewards. These rewards vary from certificates to phone calls home, emails home to your parents, achievement points, to larger ideas such as celebration assemblies. We are obviously putting your needs first to create a calm and purposeful learning environment and atmosphere around the school. And we do have to unfortunately sometimes impose sanctions we have a wide variety of staff within the pastoral team who are all here to support you and your development across the school. You will also be assigned a head of year who will be overseeing your year group to support you through the school to make sure you're happy, confident and successful. Hello, I'm Miss Leader 
Um, this is Upland's music department, welcome. Um, in music, we'll learn about a huge range of musical styles, some that you're probably familiar with already, and I'll teach you a little bit more about um, what exactly is going on in those musical styles, and some perhaps you've never ever heard of, and I'll introduce you to those, so we'll have lots of um, new discovery together of different musical styles. Um, you'll learn to play keyboards, we'll sing, we'll play as part of the samba band, and you'll learn to play uh, the drums, use the drum kit. Um, we'll also use lots of music technology. We're lucky to have computers in the department which have music software on where you can compose your own music um, and record your own performances. If you want to learn a particular musical instrument, you can do this through East Sussex Music. We have guitar, drums, woodwind, brass, vocal and string teachers visiting the school on a weekly basis to deliver lessons. At Uplands, there are loads of opportunities for performing. We usually have three or four concerts, including a carol service every year. We also put on a whole school production. This is one of my favourite events of the year. Um, we work closely with the drama department and the art department to put on the production. In recent years, we have performed Fame, We Will Rock You and Bugsy Malone. The absolutely brilliant thing about doing the shows is that there are so many ways to be involved. Um, so not only can you act and sing on stage, perform in the band, but students are, always uh, are also involved backstage. Students help with all aspects, from set design to ticket sales, from makeup to controlling the lights. Students, students are involved in the whole process and there is a real sense of community created by the production. Really looking forward to seeing you all soon. Hi, I'm Miss Tunstrom. I'm Head of Design and Technology here at Uplands and I'm going to do some pewter metal work casting to show you today. I'm just going to turn the machine on. So this is a brazing half. It can reach very high temperatures indeed. And I've got some pewter in my ladle, which I'm going to heat up now. It needs to get to 230 degrees C before it becomes molten and you should be able to see it's starting to turn now. I've got my mould already set up with a piece of acrylic to encapsulate and it is starting to go. It won't take much longer. This is a project that we run in year nine at the moment, where you make a pewter cast key ring, and you cast it yourself in here, and then you do cold metal work as well, where you do filing and buffing, lots of sanding, polishing, and we teach you basic metal work skills. I think that's brilliant. Put that up. And move carefully round to my mould. I'm going to fill the cavity nice and smoothly until it gets to the top. Safely. Back. So as part of design and technology I'm very happy that we have got amongst the top results at GCSE and A level every year. I'm very proud of our incredibly talented students and their wonderful achievements. Um, at Key Stage 3, so Year 7, 8 and 9, we build up a variety of your making and designing skills. We use metal and wood and plastic and paper and board to build you a really strong foundation so you know what's coming. And then at GCSE we have different options, so we have product design, 3D design and food technology, which is food preparation and nutrition. Following on, now I've given my piece of casting time to cool down properly, I can show it to you and talk a bit more about what we do in product design I teach at GCSE. So we do different projects every term where you cover a different material area and you do a small design and make task at the end of each term where we practice different making skills in more detail. And towards the end of year 10 and throughout year 11, you complete a coursework project, which is where you design and make a product of your choice from an example set by the exam board. And you take the year to design and make properly, beautifully, something that you can be really proud of. Speaking of something you can be proud of, has this worked? 
Yes, it has. Um, at A level, we push your making and designing skills even further where you get the opportunity to do more fine metal work like silver work. We do mold making, print making, casting, all of the trickier, finer things. And then you have the opportunity to specialise in one of those material areas for your big coursework project. I've got a page of Amy's coursework here from last year where she did the most beautiful, beautiful arts and crafts product. And from A level, the majority of our students go on to do design degrees. For example, last year um, we had a student go to Central St Martins in London. This year we're hoping that students are going to go to Imperial College London and Nottingham Trent University for design and engineering courses also. We've also had a few um, architect students and engineering students, interior design. Absolutely. Very, very proud of all of the achievements that our students are going on to do. Um, that leaves me just to say welcome to Uplands and I look forward to seeing you when you get here and you can come and play in the workshops for your new favourite subject. The heart of Upton School is the students. As a member of the pastoral team, the students' well-being is what drives us. My name is Martin Floyd and I'm head of year eight and nine. A head of year's job is to talk to the students in the corridors, in lessons and in assembly about what matters to them most. It keeps us in touch with what each student wants and needs. It keeps us inspired to do what's right by your child and helps us to understand what they may need next. By having these conversations, it keeps the school doing its job and to ensure your son or daughter gets the best possible experience at Uplands. Every day we learn from our students and this makes us a better school. Each head of year is part of a dedicated tutor team. The tutor will be there throughout your child's school career. Each tutor gets to know each tutee inside and out. And the first point of contact for any concern or need that a student or parent has. Each student will get one assembly a week to encourage community spirit and ethos and many whole year messages are shared in that assembly. The rest of the week is bespoke to your child's aspirations and needs at, the at that time in their lives. They will explore the first steps in building a career, look from a world perspective at current news stories, and as well as be encouraged to be empathetic to the changing world in their local, school, village or county environment. Each tutor is free to deliver the pastoral framework in a way that's right for their group, and they're encouraged to be creative and experimental in the way that is delivered, um, with the key focus always being the relationship with your son and daughter. It is through the partnership of the school's intimate knowledge of a student's academic and personal ambitions, plus a head of years overview and experience, that makes Upland students so successful. Over the course of your child's time with us, the pastoral team will help them deal with the challenges that every teenager comes across. We'll talk to them when they need it, listen when, listen when they really speak, and act when they want us to, and of course sometimes when they don't. It is our responsibility and pleasure to open the world to your son or daughter, and as cheesy as it sounds, bring their hopes to life. Hi, I'm Mr Papa. I run the primary PE here at Uplands. Um, you may have seen me before at your local primary schools where I've come in to do some PE or you may have come to Uplands and taken part in some PE festivals. Um, as part of my role here at Uplands I run festivals against all the local schools which range from football, rugby and hockey. I also come into your local primary schools to help run some PE lessons or I also bring in the sports leaders. Here at Uplands you get the opportunity when you get into the year nine to hopefully get the opportunity to be a sports leader. As part of that, you'll help out with the primary festivals, support the local children, and also help the local schools to develop more PE. Here, just on the Muggle, we do mainly most of our festivals here, which all the schools come to. As part of the primary PE festival as well, we're here to try and build the connections with the local schools and help you when you have your transition from year six to year seven. What I do is I work with your teachers to help with your PE, but also to see how you feel about coming to secondary school. It gives you the opportunity as well when you come here to do the festivals to see the secondary school, get an idea of what the school's like and also see what a day is like as well at Uplands. That's all from me. Um, wishing you a really good summer. Um, we look forward to welcoming you here at Uplands very soon. Hello, I am Miss Metham and I am the Head of Maths here at Uplands Community College. We have a fantastic team of maths teachers who cannot wait to teach the next generation of 
mathematicians. Our GCSE results are rapidly improving and in turn we have more and more students wanting to take maths as an A-level. We offer both maths and further maths at A-level currently. In the first term of Year 7, we set you into groups based on your ability, which we then monitor and track all the way through to Year 9, where you either study the higher or the foundation syllabus for GCSE. In Year 7 and 8, we travel to other secondary schools to compete in the Team Maths Challenge, which is a series of challenging maths tasks and activities that are answered within your school team. You get the opportunity to compete against other schools in the county and then you could even go and compete against other schools within the country. That is all from me. I look forward to meeting you. Hi, welcome to English. My name's Mrs Wolfe and I'm Head of English at Uplands Community College. Our aim is to challenge and to nurture students. We want to introduce students to a wide variety of literature so they have a chance to experience what is considered to be the best that's been written and the best that's been thought through a range of novels, poetry, plays and non-fiction writing. But we also want to make sure that students are fully ready for when they leave Uplands and have the vital literacy skills that they will need to take them on through their lives. At both GCSE and A-level, we're in the top 10% of schools nationally when it comes to value added. And that includes both private and grammar schools. It's also a popular choice at A-level, with lots of students opting to take A-level literature and also media studies, and with some students going to take this further after Uplands to degree level. So what do they study in Year 7 at Uplands? Well, one of the new books that we are reading as a class reader is a novel called Boy 87 by Ellie Fountain. It's a gripping tale about a boy who has to, is forced to flee his country. And we choose it because it is a gripping read. It's a real page turner, something that students really want to get to the end of to find out what happens. It challenges their views on what it might mean to be a refugee and it introduces them to life in a different culture. In the summer, in the summer term, we celebrate poetry with a recital competition and a writing competition. It's based on a unit that we've studied earlier in the year on ballads and students have the chance to write their own ballads and to recite ballads written by others. We work with the drama department on Midsummer Night's Dream where students by the end of year seven are ready to embrace the challenge of Shakespeare. Enrichment is really important to us as a department and in year eight we do the long-standing Palmer Trophy competition. This is where students in Year 8 all have the chance to write a speech with the title If There Is One Thing In The World I Would Change. It starts off as a competition in the Year 8 English classes until we whittle it down to 12 exceptional finalists. We also take students to the theatre where we can to support the text that we're studying in class. And often we'll take a whole year group at a time. And if we can't get to the theatre, we'll make sure that we get in a performing group of professionals to help them understand the play in greater depth in school. We all know that reading can fall once students leave primary school, their love of reading that is. And this is something, or well, reading is something that we actively promote throughout year seven and beyond because we don't want this to tail away. We have a very vibrant library. We're lucky enough to have that at Uplands. We also give students a reading book to take home at Key Stage 3 every half term. And we use this book as a basis for their homework and to help them with spelling and to increase and improve their vocabulary. For those who really love reading, we also have the South East Book Awards. Now, there's plenty going on in the English department at Uplands and I look forward to seeing you if you choose Uplands to be your school. Hello, I'm Mr Joyce. I'm Head of PE here at Uplands Community College. Um, just wanted to tell you a bit about PE and sport and physical activity that we do here at the college. Um, <clears throat> before we sort of speak about that, we're very lucky in that we have our own sports centre. I think that's one of our key things. So we're able to use the gym, really good gym downstairs in the sports centre here. 
Um, there's, a, there's a dance studio. We've got two in, really nice indoor spaces. Um, football, rugby pitch, cricket pitch, rounders, you name it. Everything outside down our fields. We've also got three tennis courts where we also play our hockey and things outside. Um, so loads of space, which I think is, is a really good thing. Um, <clears throat> Uh, we're starting a new curriculum. Yeah. Next year's Year 7 will be the first lot of people to come through. It's called Me and PE, and it, it means that we're talking about lots of different areas of the curriculum. We're, we're assessing you on things like your physical skills, so how good are your physical skills, that's called physical me. Your thinking skills as well, so talking about how you develop your tactics, um, how you can think about things, be creative in, in aspects like dance and gymnastics. Um, then onto your social skills. So in our, in our some of our team games, we, we're looking about. We do lots of stuff on sports leadership, being a good team member. You know, all of those things are aspects about our new curriculum. So it's it's covering all of those di different things. Um, in terms of other activities that I haven't mentioned that we do, we do all range of invasion games. We also do net games. So we're talking about badminton, volleyball. We also do lots of dodgeball as well over here, which is which the students seem to really like and enjoy. We do. Um, Things like tennis outside as well. Then we also do athletics, loads and loads of different activities, orienteering. There's too many to mention. So they're all the different things that we actually do um, <clears throat> on our curriculum. Outside of outside of that, so when school finishes at the end of the day, we, we run a full range of clubs. So um, lots of different activities in those. Our, our teams do very well in the school areas. Uh, we're one of the, which I, I really like, we're one of the smaller secondary schools in the area so we we know or I, as a teacher I know nearly everybody here which I really like but we're one of the smaller secondary schools but we also we do very well in competitions um, like Ouse Valley Athletics or District Athletics where we go down to Brighton and take part in stuff there we do the full range of um, activities including we, there's a uh, where students are allowed to go into the gym uh, and do some fitness stuff in there we also do um, trampolining we do table tennis, we do football, we do rugby, we do hockey, we do netball, um, and and so on. So loads of extracurricular activities as well, which I think is really important. Um, and the final thing we, we always do, there's, there's three major events. We do a massive sports day, which is based on all the different communities. Um, we did it this year, it was a virtual one, but normally down on the field and everybody from school comes down and we, we do all the track events on, on the field, field events the day before. Um, outside, things like javelin, discus, shot put, long jump, triple jump, etc. All of those things. That's one of our major events. Um, we also run the Welsh Camp. You can see some pictures behind me of Welsh Camp, which is run we, every year. We go down uh, to a place near Brecon in Wales. And the brilliant thing about it is it's not just like we do climbing, but we don't do on artificial, we do on real rocks. Um, <clears throat> we go down into cave and do caving down in, you know actually underneath the surface you know so it's brilliant fun quite challenging but that's the whole thing about it and on site we also do things like there's rafting uh, canoeing kayaking um, and of course camp under canvas as well which is really good fun so that's another one and then find the final thing we do every year we do a sports presentation evening um, so uh, from from so we're looking all the time to see who the best people are in their PE lessons um, outside of their PE lessons in terms of extracurricular and all the different teams that we, that we run and we give um, we give awards for for the kind of most improved and for the player of the year and team of the year etc all, all of that sort of things. I hope that you've enjoyed listening to my friendly and knowledgeable teachers. I've got lots of people just like that waiting in classrooms ready and eager to teach your children. We know that when you choose a secondary school you are trusting us with your precious child. That's a responsibility and a privilege that we take seriously. Uplands is a friendly, caring school where children thrive. We've got excellent transport links to all the local towns and villages, and I think that your child would find it easy to get to us. I hope that we're able to get to know you and them better starting in September 2021.